Hey YouTube, this is Lisa sharing life stories with you. Oh, I'm trying to get this sucker to stay here. I was supposed to be a self, bring a selfie stick, but my dog, ah! <laughs> my dog kept me up all bitching night. You know, I didn't get no sleep the night before. I got maybe an hour or two taps of sleep. Oh Jesus and baby Jesus. I'm going to have to hold this. I got a couple selfie sticks at home, at least one or two that I know of that I got to bring here. But whatever. And just to have them with me. <sighs> Take a breath. Get my brain together. All right. This is what I want you guys to know about this channel. And I've kind of said it in so many words. But the more I think about, the more pissed off I get, guys. As you can see, I'm wearing my hair flipped this way because this is the way... It went for years, flipped this way, and then up in a clip. I had my hair really long, and I'm growing it. I don't know how long I'm going to grow it back or what I'm going to exactly do, but this is just a little too short for me. I feel like a man too much with this. And it's nothing against nobody else. If they can pull it off better than I am, I'm all for it. Whatever you can do that makes you feel good, do. I just don't feel good in this hair no more like I used to feel with long hair even though I looked more of a mess. I think there should be a happy medium for me somewhere and I haven't found yet but I'm getting there. <laughs> so I wish my hair would hurry up and grow but my hair grows really fast. I had to go get it cut every two weeks and the lady was like I've never seen hair like yours grow just like this. She goes this is unbelievable. Anyways why I'm so pissed off guys is the more I think about it, and the more I think about it, and the more I think about it, all these channels have all these bells and whistles, okay? And I'm going to get better at this, and I'm going to learn how to edit. Amy says there's Movie Maker, and my friend helped me look it up. Does anybody know Movie Maker editing thing? It's free, but we can't seem to find it. My friend looked it up and it was all this other stuff. I don't know. It wasn't right. So does anybody know? Amy from Frickin' Frugal told me use Movie Maker. I want to make better videos as I go along, right? And I want to bring different things into them. I want to bring music and everything. I can't do this right now with not having a program. So even going to YouTube Studio, I don't... The way I make my videos is... I get on my camera and I make a video and then I send it to YouTube. So, how do I do that? Does anybody know offhand where they can give me some advice? And this is what I'm mad about. I feel no matter how big I ever get, if I was lucky enough to get a million YouTubers, and I will, Okay, because I believe there is more like minded people like me out there who are good people. We're all going through this shit together. Like I said, there's good days, bad days. But what separates me from the pack of other YouTubers, and I am surprised, I am surprised. It's almost like I'm bringing a new thing to you guys. I don't care how busy I get. If I couldn't afford to down the road, these other people make money from YouTube, okay? I'm going to put it out there. I will quit this job to answer people back, okay? There is no... People treat it like, oh, it's second and whatever. Mm -mm. To me, I feel people are brushed under the rug. They feel like me... I feel like I don't matter to these other YouTubers, some of these bigger channels, and I won't get into name, naming them. Amy from Frickin' Frugal has been wonderful. She's about the only one that I can say, yeah, wow, that's really took time to answer back. Wow. So, and there's a lot of channels I watch out there, and these people, like this one guy, recently found fame. And I won't say his name. He lives in his little minivan. And he just got famous in a, this last year. And I think he got famous over a corned beef hash video. And I can do videos like that too. Corned beef hash out of can. Because actually, I'm going to make a video tomorrow. I've never made this stuff from, I don't know, it starts with a B. It's chicken 
like uh, fettuccine or something. Never had that brand, so I want to do a taste test and see what I think of that brand. I've had other brands. I've never had this brand. It wasn't real cheap. It was like $12 a bag. I bought two big bags of it. I think it was $12 or $13 a bag. That's kind of expensive. $20. What is that? $26? And it, yeah, $26, $27 for a meal? That's not that cheap. Not that expensive either, I guess, in today's world. But I keep getting off the track. Get back on the track, Lisa. I'm like the little train that could, that could. Where are people, they ignore you, other YouTubers, they don't answer nobody back, or they just have a select group of people answer back. Uh, and what? It's like, it's like you're talking to nobody. Okay, D, you, we're not movie stars, people, okay? I, I guess I might as well say I'm a creator like everybody else, but we're not movie stars. I don't care how big, how many millions of people you get, you're not a movie star, and you should answer people back. And that's where I am, where I get mad, and I'm putting myself above everybody else on YouTube, okay? I'm going to answer everybody back. I try to, on here, look through my mail, look through YouTube, any way that anybody's got a question for me or has something nice to say to me. I just want you to know you're heard. You matter. We're all in this shit together. And I do not see that with these other channels. Or they'll go through for the first couple minutes. I've even heard other YouTubers say, Oh, I stay on there for the first half an hour and I answer my... That's not good enough. That's not good enough. What about the other people who got off work at 10 or 11 o'clock, you know, or whatever? You know, I don't say you have to be on here all night. But answer them back the next day. And if you got more people, oh well. I want to stand out, and I'm going to make a point of it. It may be hard. Let's see how hard it gets. I'm waiting for it to get hard. I want. I wish I could wake up tomorrow, and there would be a million subscribers. I would, like, shit all over myself. I'd have to probably be put in the hospital and put on some tranquilizers. But I would be pushing the nurses and doctors away, answering everybody. I feel it's my greatest honor in life that I can connect with you guys and let you know that you're not alone. We're in this shit together, good or bad, good days, bad days. We have funny, sad, everything. Bring it to me. I'm here at work today working almost 13 hours again. I have the next three days off. I'm zombified by now. <laughs> I'm tired as shit. Every two hours, me and this lady trade... I go in the back, she comes in the front. We guard these chassis that are going to be bringing packages to your house from Amazon. And FedEx trucks, too. So, the same difference. I'm guarding the trucks that's going to deliver you shit. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, my hair's going crazy. I'm trying to keep it down. Keep it down. But, uh, yeah. So, I, that's how I feel that different, and I'm just really surprised. As I started my little channel, I had two people when I started off. I really got serious about YouTube in the last couple months, and I have 131. I think there's like 133 people, though. For some reason, every time I get a couple people, it'll take them off for a minute, and then they re-show up. I don't know what that is in YouTube land. If anybody knows, let me know what that means. Like, what do they evaluate them people and then bring them back? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's nothing bad. I got nothing bad to say about YouTube. I think YouTube is the best thing since sliced bread because it gives people an opportunity in this whole big wide world to connect. And I just really feel that a lot of the creators like myself really fall short. And just because you make good content but you don't care about nobody else and you can't interact. You're not a movie star. Interact with these people. That's where I differ. And I'm going to damn it. If I if to break my ass doing it, I'm going to answer you. Even if you just say, hey, how are you today? Say it, please. 
because I'm going to answer you back. I love you all. May, sometimes it may take me some time, but I'm going to answer you back. You are not forgotten on this channel. I love you all. Sleesa sharing life stories with you. I got some good stuff coming up this week. Hopefully things are calmed down. I wanted to do even more stuff the last couple weeks, but I was running and then my work had me running. I don't have all that crap going on. I got to go to the doctors on Tuesday for blood pressure medicine, which is no big deal. And tomorrow I got to do like two errands. And I might even do tomorrow, um, either tomorrow or Wednesday morning before I come here. But I got a lot more time because I don't go to Pontiac no more. See, I used to have to leave at 12, 12 30, 12 o'clock to go to Pontiac. That's like an hour away from me. I got up. I had no time. I'm going to try to do a food bank haul and show you what one of our lo local food banks here gives you. And this is a pretty big food bank place. I mean, they deal with a lot of people. Excuse me. You can tell I'm drinking one lousy pop just makes my stomach go nuts. And that's it. And I won't drink no more pop the rest of the week. But yeah, you matter here. You're different. <laughs> this is a different experience. I want you guys to tell me, what do you think about being heard? What do you think how I answer everybody back? Doesn't that, isn't that better? Because I know... I'm on the other end and I feel lost with these channels. Like, it just isn't about the creator and their life, I think. It's about both. I got to get better at the videos I put out, but I make you a part of my life and a part of everything I do. And I think that's huge, huge, huge. And I cannot believe the ball has been dropped by all these creators. So, join my channel. What are you waiting for? If if I was on the other end of you and I seen somebody like me, I'd be all over them like white on shit. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't even know. But anyways, I would. I'd be all over you. We're in this shit together. Join this channel. I'll answer you back. I love you. Lisa sharing life stories with you. God bless you all. Bye.